I'd like to welcome Don and thank you for putting this together. Look forward to seeing it. Okay, um, this is a very, very difficult process. Uh, these are samples that we can try. One is uh, blackberry honey, and this is just plain honey. So if you want to try it later on, put on a cracker. <clears throat> um, let's see. Cream honey was uh, patented by uh, Elton Dice back in 1935. And the way he did it was his, he heated his honey up to 160 degrees to pasteurize it and to kill enzymes and stuff. Um, and when I would start thinking about it, I said, well, I definitely don't want to do that because <coughs> we all know that you don't want to kill any of the Heat your honey and kill anything in it. So <clears throat> I started talking around uh, people in Knox County. Been, um, there was a couple of people that do cream honey. And... Their, their method was a lot simpler. Um, let me get to clean up my mess here a little bit. So basically what you do is you need a seed, honey. Um, I first started with, uh, I went to Kroger's or somewhere and I bought Subi honey as creamed honey. This is what, you know, you can see the difference between that, creamed and not creamed. Um, and what it is, is it's a very fine grain. Um, honey naturally crystallizes, and what they did originally was they let it dry it out and then they crushed it. So they had real, real fine powder. Then they put it in the, in the honey. I don't know how many people, in, when they were kids, they did that uh, growing sugar paint, or on the string in the, in the solution. Did you ever do that? Yeah. Well, this is basically the same, same process. So. So what, <clears throat> let's see, the, uh, the ratio between the, the starter honey or, uh, and the regular honey is, is 10%. You want 10% seed. Um, I've since been making my own seed only because why should I buy it every day when I can just make it myself? It's much, much cheaper. So what I'll do first is dig out. Let's see, you got uh, two jars, it's 44 ounces, uh, it's eight ounces. So I'm going to put approximately eight, nine ounces of honey in here to start it. So you, you use, you do it by weight? Yeah. You're doing it by weight? 10%. And you can see how hard it is. Um, and the, the other thing they do, the guys at uh, Knox County, what they did, um, what they, they said to do, and, and contrary to what I read on, on the internet was that they put the, the, the seed in and they beat the heck out of it at a real high speed. And that's everything I, I ever saw on the internet, they said don't do that. So I did it both ways. And we actually made a batch in, the, in, in her dad's place in Alabama. And I did it one way, or beating it real fast. And the other way was I just barely beat it, you know, just enough to mix it. And the significant thing that what happened was there was much more volume of the beaded honey because you, you're just introducing a lot of air in there. So if I guess if you're in the process to sell it, you want to beat it. Don't sell it by weight then. Sure. By volume. Right. Six dollars a jar. Wow. Um, I, Is it easy to spread with the air in it? Pardon? Easy to spread? Well, you know, it doesn't drill. So, no, I mean, you get a spoon. Is that beaten or not beaten? You just have to burp it. <laughs> this is all um, not beaten. It's, it's just stirred. I just, I didn't beat this real hard because I figured, well, you're introducing all that air in there. Maybe that's going to cause some problem down the road. You know, some microorganism that was in the air, a, a strange, strange yeast thing or something. But you can see um, that is kind of, it's definitely stiff. Uh, the thing. 
also that they decided was, or Mr. Dice, was that um, 57 degrees was the optimal temperature for <coughs> for uh, getting the honey to. Hello. I'm busy right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that, what was the purpose of going to 57 degrees? That's, that's where the, when you have cooler temperatures, your honey will crystallize faster. So I did my first batches in the, in the fall. So I had a spare bedroom I kind of closed off. And that was kind of like a, a, the temperature in the room. And it, and it turned out real well. Um, what they were doing is just putting it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And I found that to be, it makes the honey harder. Um, what I did here was I had a, a, one of those little apartment refrigerators and I turned the temperature up as high as I could get it, which was around 50 degrees. And that's, yeah, it's not, not nominal, but it's close. I've had to spend 200 <clears throat> Ron's is going to buy it for Christmas. It's a, one of those beverage uh, wine coolers. Those you can change, set the temperature right at 57 if you want. You shouldn't have to buy it. Though. I better use for it. Yeah. <laughs> so right now we got... Right now this is... This will be it. <laughs> critical or no. it just takes a little longer if it's not as much or uh, it what they said was if you go over 10% you're just wasting seed mm -hmm. so uh, but 4% wouldn't, wouldn't work very well so right there now, this is the, the other hard part That's just creamed honey. This is creamed honey. The seed is? The seed. Now what kind of seed is it? It's creamed honey. <laughs> That's what seed is. That's just creamed honey. So you're just redoing it. You're, you're making those. And I beat this for <laughs> 10 minutes or so. Well, naturally, um, if you want, while this is beating or mixing, you can come up and taste it. Um, sample it here. We have uh, blackberry, and this is plain, so it's just regular seed. They could taste the, the, the slight, distinct flavor of the blackberry in there. Now, uh, today I'm going to make raspberry. Isn't that one of the advantages of cream honey that it shouldn't crystallize as much? It it's already crystallized. Longer? Yeah, so mm -hmm. in other it's words, not it'll last to. almost forever. Yeah. Whereas regular honey eventually will crystallize. Right, but you, you're beating it. You're beating Mother Nature to the punch, so it's mm -hmm. good. 